Patch 124 is available to play on Experimental and it brings with it some newly added content as well as so many fixes I almost thought it was an election. Honestly, for the first year patch this is a big one with lots of changes and here I'll go through every single one of them. If you like the video please leave a like or a subscribe, it really helps me out, you have no idea. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Defend me gun one last time. Oh no. You become one of them. Firstly, let's start with the newly added content in order of its patch notes. The brand new gun is called the Vicar, but I'll be pronouncing it as the Vicar because I plan to use it to send my enemies to their gods. It's a modernized version of the SR3M rifle and it's influenced by the SVAL and the VSS. The Vicar features a slightly rounded iron sight as standard, can take the same attachments as the VSS, has full and semi auto, but its only suppression option is the improvised one. It takes 939 rounds and overall it's a bit of a mid-tier weapon. I don't think it'll be many people's primary gun given the choice but in the right hands it'll forcefully penetrate your enemies harder than a real vicar. But complementing the vicar, SVAL and VSS rifles we now have the option of 30 round 939 magazines and more ammo options for the VSS can't be a bad thing. The new magazine increases your capacity for sustained firefights making sure you'll be able to exchange more rounds than Lindsay Lohan's bartender. Camouflage very Variants of the ballistic helmet are also now available, allowing you to blend into various environments with separate styles. These new camo variants provide not just bullet and shock protection, but also a tactical advantage in stealth situations given its varied options. Immersion also gets a boost with new sounds for crafting clothing from rags, base building kits, a bone knife, wringing out clothing, splitting firewood, and breaking down bushes. I love these kinds of additions, but just be weary that these sounds can be heard by other people players so unless you want the last sound you hear to be yourself cussing at a black screen keep your eyes open and quickly there are now animations for cleaning hands with cooking pots and a gasoline canister the patch notes also include numerous changes and fixes like improved collision checks for weapon raising optimized calculations for weapon lengths and adjustments to the recoil of several automatic firearms this means it's way more intuitive when aiming around corners and through certain gaps notably the impact noise of bullets has been reduced as well which means the infected won't be drawn to bullet impacts anymore and suppressed weapons won't be audible to them either this change I don't personally like. I think it makes the suppressed weapons a little too overpowered, especially in their early stages. Maintaining a little distance between the Mark II shots and the groups of surrounding infected was always a nice calculated challenge that's now been completely removed. Maybe I'm alone, but let me know what you think below. Additionally, and something I absolutely welcome, is the bandaging process is now more seamless, allowing continuous action when treating multiple cuts. Shock damage of blunt weapons will now partially be translated into health damage when fighting the infected and animals, they've adjusted the collision for some ground obstacles which basically means cars can go through some forms of shrubbery but be careful because larger tree debris is still solid. This makes you less likely to snag while driving off road on hidden branches, making it way easier to mow down those pesky kids. They've also simplified the collision system of the trees adding a noticeable but still fairly modest performance improvement, specifically when in highly wooded areas. Though I imagine there will still be some adjustments made to this particular area over the coming weeks on Experimental. And they tweaked the overheating particles of firearms in an attempt to increase performance. In the tests I did, it seemed to average maybe an extra 6 frames per second in gunfights on PC. But on console, it made the current frame rates more stable rather than allowing a higher overall number. But take this with a pinch of salt as there are too many variables to account for when doing these sort of tests and it was just me. If you've had a different experience, maybe let me know below. Also note that the muzzle flash is still as noticeable, especially at night time. So be careful in the late night fights. Your firing position, room, window, bush or general position will still be easily visible. Before I talk about some of the best fixes and some much needed changes, this patch also comes with updates on the previously promised improvements to the infected. The developers have said, unfortunately we have to postpone making more complex changes 
damage to the infected AI, though we still found time to investigate some of the issues. As a result, we significantly reduced the noise from the impacts of bullets. This means the infected won't be so easily drawn to the impact from fired bullets, particularly helpful when suppressed firearms are used. We also increased the damage output of blunt melee weapons and tools against the infected and animal AI. This was done by adding a portion of their shock damage into the total damage dealt. End of quote. I'm gonna go home, please. <laughs> no, we will finish the stream. We will tease the stuff we agreed on. They are already on the paper. Then you can go home. Right, moving on to the fixes. And the fixes are large with this one. A lot larger than we've probably come to expect from an early year patch. I'll add a timestamp for both PC and console separately so you can skip whatever one doesn't apply to you. But honestly, I'll read some of the best fixes and show the rest because this is just such a welcomed patch you will absolutely notice a difference. Some of the best PC fixes are corpses could not be pulled out of vehicles properly. It was possible for players to rotate with their dead bodies until respawn, which was hilarious. The sling bag was clipping with most clothing items on female models. It was possible to shoot through some corners of the base fence. It was possible to get stuck in the blocking position if activating it right after picking up a firearm. The camera was briefly in the wrong position after waking up from unconscious in a car. Padded gloves could not be repaired with the leather sewing kit. Infected were reacting to suppressed shots over long ranges. The state of the crossbow was not always correctly saved during server restarts. Items dropped next to a fence or gate could not be picked back up. It was not possible to refuel a torch while it was burning. Items in the Chenegorsk Hotel were spawned below the map. And moving on to some of the best console fixes, the shoulder triggers were not properly switching between inventory containers. Unloading a bolt with full inventory would reset the bolt health to full. Corpses could not be pulled out of vehicles properly. Weather could be desynchronized for players. Bolt shot on players or creatures would attach in the wrong direction. When standing up from prone with raised hands, the camera would not properly follow the player. Several items were displayed too big in the inventory view. It was possible to shoot through some corners of the base fence. Padded gloves could not be repaired with a leather sewing kit. Infected were reacting to suppressed shots over long ranges. It was possible to push a car while gear was clutched. Inventory view was sometimes cut off in narrow screen resolutions. Items in the Chernogorsk Hotel were spawned below the map. Also, just a heads up, every change that has been made that has a link at the end is a change that us, the players, have suggested using the feedback tracker. It's not only for bugs but also for suggestions on balancing or improvements and it's so useful. It means your opinion matters and that the devs are listening. But for way more information on DayZ going forward or even if you're just starting out, click here. Or for something else, click here. And as always, until next time.